So I pushed the wrong button. I thought I'd recorded when a student came in here and asked for help, but I didn't. And I didn't know that until I pushed pause and stopped and yeah. So we're still here. We're still working through lesson two. We'll get there some point. Um, I hope you're watching all three parts. So in the other equation, what quantities do we know? When might it be useful? So yeah, the second equation, if we're comparing a bunch of car prices, it'd be very useful. The first equation, if we know all the things about a particular car and we're trying to figure out the total cost of that one car, the first equation is more useful. If we're comparing a bunch of cars, the second equation is useful. Okay, moving on. Okay. Here, in the first equation, what quantities do we know? We know the original car price, and that's it, okay? What might be useful with an equation like this? If we're comparing different tax rates, different taxes and miscellaneous fees, if we're comparing a bunch of different tax rates and miscellaneous fees, we would want this equation. And we're gonna compare that for the purchase price of one particular car, okay? One car, different tax rates, and different miscellaneous. Um, in the other equation, we don't know anything. So if we're comparing a bunch of different cars, a bunch of everything, a bunch of different cars, a bunch of different tax rates, there's our taxes, there's our purchase price, there's our purchase price, there's our miscellaneous fee, and our total cost. Um, all of the things are replaceable in that equation. All right, we could use numbers or letters to represent the quantities in a situation. When might it make sense to use only numbers? Um, if they're known. Oh, golly. Let's do this. If they are known values, if they don't change, then make them a number and they'll be the same number every time you use that equation. Um, when might it make sense? So that's when it may, might make sense to use numbers. When it makes sense to use letters, when the value changes. Okay, when the value changes, when you are comparing a bunch of things, compare lots, um, those are all when you would want to use the variables, the letters. You've heard the phrases, a quantity that varies and a quantity that stays constant in this lesson. Describe what they mean in your own words. A quantity that varies. Um, Let's see, the purchase price of the cars. Um, well, we'll just say things that change. Could you be putting this in your own words? Values that change. And then a constant. Values that don't change. Okay, the constants are the numbers that don't change. Okay, the variables are the letters, the varies that vary, they change. Um, you can replace them with other numbers. So what we did today, I can tell which quantities in a situation can vary and which ones cannot. Um, these are the letters. And these are the constants. I can use letters and numbers to write, and we did that. We had lots of stories that we changed into letters and numbers um, to write equations representing the relationships and situation. And then the review of our two vocabulary words so far. Hey, excellent job. I'm sorry you had to really stick with three lessons today. I had, I, not my intention, right? 